all error was let loose yesterday at Agemowo, area of Badagri in Lagos. After a bus killed a cow, causing the cattle rearers to brutally stab the bus conductor to death on the spot. The incident took place around 6.30 a.m. yesterday morning, the 27th of June 2002. The incident happened exactly along Lagos Badagri Expressway. The commercial bus which was on high speed was said to be coming from Mao too. When all of a sudden two cows strayed onto the expressway, causing the bus to ram into them, killing one of the cows, and also causing some damages to the bus itself. As soon as this accident occurred, the headers at the Agbomalu charged at the driver, holding him down, insisting he would pay the sum of 500,000 naira. For the dead cow. The driver refused, claiming that the accident was not his fault. Other motorists supported the bus driver and this led to heated arguments between the motorists and the headers. It soon degenerated into a fight and as usual with this kind of situation, more headsmen joined and they soon charged towards the bus driver. It was said that the bus driver and the conductor somehow managed to escape. The angry headers caught up with a man who they mistook to be the bus conductor. It was said they beat him till he became unconscious and thinking he was dead, they left him but soon pounced on him again after he got up and started making his way towards a nearby police station to seek refuge. According to some eyewitnesses, the man made it to the police station where he was turned away by some policemen. When the others noticed the man was going to the police station, they went after him and caught up with him and then they brutally stabbed the man to death leaving his lifeless body lying in the middle of the road. Eyewitnesses lamented that the 30-year-old man, who has been identified as Ahmed, a.k.a. Omoga, who the headers mistook as the bus conductor, was beaten to death in the full glare of some security men, including policemen who were on duty around the scene of the incident, and a crowd of onlookers who probably did not attempt to save the man due to fear of being attacked themselves. And to top it all off, it was said that a police station was also located a few minutes from where the incident took place. The man was screaming for help but nobody came to his rescue. If they had helped the man, he might have survived but everyone watched till he was killed. The incident created an instant reaction from residents and motorists in that area who started protesting. It was said they blocked the expressway, threatening to avenge the death of the man. It was said that the angry mob apprehended two yet to be identified Fulani headsmen who are believed to have spearheaded the entire attack. They were handed over to the police who arrested them. It was said that normalcy was soon restored in that area by the police and the police have come out to deny the claim that the man was turned away when he went to the police station to seek refuge. They claim he did not make it off the accident scene, let alone reach the station. What do you guys think about this horrible incident? Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below.